I'm Angie Cannon and I'm an English teacher at Bloomington North High School. You know, we have a lot of club sponsors in our department. I sponsor a, a few clubs. Um, Sisters Who Care, it's a support group for women of color. And I also have a club called Civil Rights History Club. We try really hard to uh, engage the students uh, with things that they care about. And I think I decided I wanted to be a teacher because I just wanted to have some kind of an impact on the world. I wanted my life to matter. Um, and I wanted to use my life and my privilege to lift people up. My most favorite time as a teacher was when I took 14 students to, uh, students that were in my civil rights history club down to Alabama to see all the civil rights um, sites there. Uh, we went in the summer. I raised all the money to, so that they wouldn't have to pay. A lot of a lot of those students didn't have money for something like that. To save money, I t I went through the training and learned how to drive a school bus. And uh, I we I had my magic school bus. I packed the kids up, 14, 14 students, packed them up and drove them to Alabama. And we were there for five days. And I took them to every civil rights site that I could possibly find. It was the most fun I've ever had. <laughs> it was really great. But I have favorite moments all the time. I, every semester, I have students that come in my door at the beginning and tell me that they are uh, will not read, do not like to read, don't plan on starting now. And every semester, those same students, when we get to the end, tell me that they now consider themselves to be readers. And I think that that's the biggest accomplishment for me because if you give students the ability to learn for themselves and you give them the gift of language and literacy um, you're giving them everything you're giving them all of their power i've learned from students that um, what you see is not necessarily what is and um, to understand that Whatever it is that they're doing that I think that they're not supposed to be doing, they have a rational reason for doing it. I think that the students have taught me that the most important thing in life is to take care of each other. I think they would say Mrs. Cannon is kind with high expectations and won't let me fail. I would love to thank my coworkers just for, for working so hard to give such uh, an amazing environment and doing the best that they can. And my co-teacher, Laura Kulski, that works with me side by side and helps me help them. And Stephanie Power Carter, she was, um, she started off as my professor and then became my best friend. <laughs> but she, you know, she always told me that it was important to use my privilege to lift students up and give that to them, give them um, that power and that privilege that they might not have.